So this is five hundred dollar, two thousand eleven fifty one o five ml John Deere. I picked this one up last year. We actually used it um, like 12, 15 disking jobs. What we did yesterday was these tires, the ones that came on it, or one of them did. The other one was rotted and exploded off the rim. So I ended up having to buy a tire, a used tire for $200. My dad ended up buying a set of four, only 300. So he decided to put them on. These are actually narrow. The problem we were having when we were trying to disc is we had to drive everywhere because these tires on the back were too wide. So it'd make about like eight foot clearance and it was hard for us to find a trailer to support 8,000 pounds plus eight feet wide without spending a lot of money on a brand new trailer. So then we also took the fenders off. My dad wanted to take them off. So they're over there now. But this one's got all the hydraulic hookups. It had it came with a sprayer attachment and all that stuff, but we took that off. Um, and this is how it's been sitting for a few months now since we're not using it. But we're getting ready to disc again. I got to buy another disc because I actually had a hydraulic disc. First I had a three point disc and we sold that one. Then we had a hydraulic disc we used for a few jobs and then I sold that one since the season was over for disking. But this is it. And then we'll probably spray paint these tires or the rims because it looks ugly with the white when it's a John Deere. <laughs> These are actually the front tires that came with it. As you can see, they're super bald. Um, I think this one, one of them has a nail in it and it was going flat. We put, did that on a disking job, ran over a nail. Now uh, we just patched it and we just been airing it up and we're using it still. And now we got two new front, or two better used front tires on it. And those are actually came off, I think, my dad was saying like a forklift tire or something a big tire like that these are actually tractor tires now so let's we'll see how if it's any better and when we bought this someone messaged me from a craigslist ad i posted they sent me photos and they're really bad zoomed in photos so i couldn't tell what it was and i offered them 500 dollars. they're about two hours away and we decided to just uh drive up there like six in the morning the next day um, once we got there, we kind of realized it was a John Deere because of the emblem, and that was pretty much the only tell sign because a lot of this was actually painted. Um, I didn't know what model or anything it was, and I had an actual tow guy come get it because it weighed too much for anything that we had. And uh, got it back home. They had a battery in the front, it wasn't hooked up, so my dad said, Let's just hook it up and see if it runs and see what it does. And we hooked up the battery. That was on there and turned it over and it fired right up and had over a quarter of a tank of diesel in it i think it was this tire the other back tire is the one that was all the way off the rim that was the only thing we put it in drive and it went forward and went backwards and then i went ahead and got a tire for it and yeah we used it for a little while to disc and we'll probably use it again for a couple years and maybe sell it Go for it. I already got wet. Just like that horse did. I think. Hey. <laughs> 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 
Oh, a lot of water. Like we got off that tire change before that was done pitching. 